Hey there, welcome in. Uh, another Friday. Um, welcome to An Actor Talks, number 12. Uh, now, I'm going to keep this very short because uh, what I'm going to do tonight is do a very special, like, slideshow presentation. It's been five years since we went on location for The Hobbit. So I've got all these amazing pics. Um, I've just been collating and editing some home movies from my childhood. So it gave me the idea. I thought, hey, five years since location. Let's see some pics. Here we go. Just a bunch of random photos. Okay, yeah, this one, um, this is down in the King Country in the North Island, and they're the huge cliffs around where we shot the troll shores. And what you can't see, there's a whole lot of stuff undercover that looks so green and so amazing. Um, we thought that the uh, art department did it, which they didn't, of course. Uh, this is the most incredible uh, mountain, uh, Mount Ruapehu. Um yeah, that's uh, that's pretty amazing. That's the view from where I was staying. We shot, I think it was the the slopes of the Lonely Mountain um, up around there. Um, oh, <laughs> this was in Middlemarch, which is in the central Otago. Um, now, myself and Jed stayed at the house of the former boss of the Otago Rugby Union, um, and other boys had various places close by. This was a barn dance that I went to. Uh, which was hilarious, and that was out to the sheep dip where the toilet was, and that was um, that was the band and all the carnage playing. There was also a great big long table of food um, in one of the wool sheds. It was hilarious. It was such a great time. This is in Middlemarch itself, of course, the forever dodgy Norrie, a.k.a. Um, Jed Brophy, trying to break into the bank. Gray McTavish looking amused. Um, now, this is a great photo. It's uh, one of those pano shots. We did a huge bike ride. Um, the guy who was staying with said it was like all downhill. It wasn't downhill. Um, it was flat, but it was hard going. We lost a couple of guys. We don't know whether they ever came back. There's a video of that somewhere. I'm going to try and find it and play that to you. Um, yeah, now th this was um, this was up on top of one of the mountains. I can't remember what we were filming. It was Lonely Mountain, obviously. But still, that fog coming in, we actually um, got stuck up there. And we had to sort of have a hasty exit down the mountain in one of the helicopters. It was pretty insane. Yeah, this is a view. This is out in paradise. This is just such a, a magnificent part of the world. Um, I think this could have been close to Bayon's house. Um, or I just remember going there and it was just the most amazing sight. Yeah, again, this is close to there. Uh, this is just out of Queenstown. Just the most spectacular views imaginable. Um, this was Milford Sound. Uh, a few of us went out. I think it might have been myself, Jimmy, Graham, Adam, Jed, a couple others. We went out there and um, you know hit the hit the sights. That, that was under our boat went under a huge waterfall. That was uh, that was pretty insane. That was when we were staying, I think, in Tianao. Yes, this Tianao. I think I've had that photo on my Twitter page before. Amazing. Um, that was uh, right outside um, where we were staying. I took that one morning. And there's another photo of. Oh, I think this could be Lake Tekapo. We were in Tekapo a couple of times actually shooting some bits and pieces. Yeah, that I remember that shot. That was like a. Just this incredible mist just, you know, rolling over the hills. That was that was quite amazing. Yeah, another one, just a, another shot of Tekapo. Lots of nature shots when we're on location, obviously. Um, yeah, and then you can see, like, the, the water. They call it, like, glacial flower. It's sort of reflected off the um, off the sky, and you can see it again. I think that's Mount Cook um, from Tekapo. Really good salmon. There's a great sushi place there if you ever go there. Um, there it is again. Um, more photos of Tekapo. You really can't get enough of that. That's where the shores of Lake Town were, I think. I wasn't actually there. Uh, that was up a mountain somewhere, quite close by. There were lots of helicopters and lots of mountains, from all I remember. Um, there we go. Hey, another mountain. Fancy that. Um, but yeah, just it was just ridiculously spectacular. I think Martin Freeman called it like obscenely spectacular. Um, and this is sort of coming into Mount Cook as well. We we're on top of another mountain. I have a feeling this is where we were doing some of scene 88. Oh, that was where I was staying in Tekapo. Yeah, that's, that's just magical. Amazing place. I think I've got a pano shot coming up of that as well somewhere. Ah, yes, there it is. I think I went on a big walk with um, uh, William Kircher. We walked up to this cafe on top of the hill, and it was cold, and then it was hot. I had my puffy jacket on, and I was sweating, and then I took it off, and I was freezing. Ah, yes, there we go. Now, they are lupins. Um, amazing colors. Um and of course, when you Photoshop it, it looks even more amazing. Um, and of course, my partner in crime on that day when we walked way up to the top was, of course, none other than Mr. William Kircher himself. Ah, me and Brophy in a helicopter going somewhere. Um, who knows where we could be going? Maybe we're going to Mount Cook. 
he's lost, obviously. He's trying to figure out where we're going. Uh, another shot of the wonderful glacial flower. Just incredible. Uh, there's Matt. Matt O'Toole, who was my amazing um, prosthetics artist. He was just incredible. Yeah, and there we see, like, that's sort of coming from Mount Cook, and it's like the fjords running into one of the lakes around Tekapo. Yeah, pretty stunning. Yeah, that was, um, we're getting to somewhere towards scene 88 country, I can tell. I can just feel my legs getting tired already just, just looking at this. I'm pretty sure that's where we went up there. Ah, I think that's a unit base somewhere. Either that or um, it's a scene from MASH or a large Cub Scout camping site. Um, that's Nelson. Whose place was that? I can't remember. But we went to someone's place for drinks. I think it might be Jimmy Nesbitt's hat below there. Um, and we went to Golden Bay, which, oh, there we go, that's Golden Bay. Um, that was after, that was in February, I think, because we, we, we couldn't get all these shots because it got rained out in uh, November, December, when we meant to shoot. So we went back in February. That was just before or just after I did the big running scene to Bayonne's house. I remember that now. And this was beautiful. We went for a, went for a swim here. It was very, very cold, but as you can see, that's magical in Golden Bay. Um, there may have been at one stage a semi-nude shot of me and William Kirchy going swimming, but um, thankfully for you guys, I don't think that is around anymore, um, which is a, probably a blessing for all involved. And there's a walk that we went on. I think that's me in the background. Um, I think William was with me then as well. We went out with, um, with Mike, one of our uh, wonderful assistants and drivers. He took us around. Ah, oh, crystal clear water. Yeah, I, I can't for the life of me remember where that is, but it's somewhere around Golden Bay. We had a day off. This might have actually been the day before we shot all that stuff. Yeah, more shots of water. Yeah, so so this was basically 2012. 2012? Yes, 2012. Um, at the start of the year. And there's some more of Golden Bay. Um, just spectacular scenery. Um, you were in Nelson for a while because we went there and we shot. I think we were there initially and we shot in the barrels. And then we were meant to go over to this side where Golden Bay is and we got completely rained out. That's where all the, the scaffolding from when we did the barrels got rained out. It was just, we got shut down by the police and the water rose. I don't know how many metres, but all the scaffolding went down the river. I called my uncle who lives in Blenheim and told him to get to the end of the river of the mouth of Polaris River because there's a you know, few thousand dollars worth of scaffolding coming down. I don't know if he did it or not. Um, yeah, that's uh, that was somewhere near where we were staying, I think. Um, yeah, it was pretty pretty magical. Uh, a river, a nice river. I think me and William went for a walk the day before we were shooting just to um, um, clear our, our heads. Um, yeah, there may have been drinks, there may have been a sparkle. Can neither confirm nor deny. Um, I think someone's got pictures, I'm sure. Uh, more wonderful scenery. Um, wonderful green rocks. Is it an endless supply of beautifully mossy rocks and green clear rivers in New Zealand. Um, I should do an ad for tourism in New Zealand. I think I'd do well at that. Um, another tree. Okay, now I'm just I'm just grasping the straws, aren't I, really? And there we go, another river. So that's it. I mean, that's that's sort of like a, a snapshot. I've got thousands and thousands of pictures, but um, yeah, it's been it's been five years. Awesome. Now that's just a random selection of pictures that I have from our uh, our shoot. Um, there's plenty more. I'll try and find that movie of uh, Graham and myself um, cycling as well. And don't forget to uh, you know catch actors talk about themselves with Adam Brown, um, Graham McTavish, of course John Cullen. Uh, Jed Brophy. I'll try and do a best of, actually, um, because I've got a few other ideas, some things I'm working on. So have a great weekend. I'm going to be in Canberra for the International Film Festival down there. Uh, my movie Blue World Order is uh, have a special preview. And I'll be doing some Q&A, so you'll be hearing more about that in the very near future. So have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye. Yeah, nah, sweet. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,